Hello and welcome to Wasp 3D Feature Tutorial. In the following tutorial, users will learn how to convert an AI to UDT, create data source column and wire AI with data source. We begin by using a basic template with a reflected floor and background material. We import the AI file. Next, from the parameters pool, we change fill and color properties. We now take extrude. Go to parameters pool and define the AI file as source shape. Modify the extrude and reduce the radial segment to 1. Transform extrude in Z-axis. Next, select material on extrude and go to material pool, shortcut key F5, to adjust it. Group the objects and add to render texture for reflection on floor. Now, in Parameters Pool, right-click on Polygon Data to convert it to UDT. Give UDT name. Go to UDT tab and open UDT from file menu. Converted AI will have name, visibility, color and row numbers as default column. Now let's go back to Design tab, to add more columns. Pressing Serve key on the keyboard to add new table. Next, go to Question Mark icon for the help file. Rename the table. We then, add columns and select column type. We are creating two columns here, party name and party color. We will also create two data source columns, which will take data from table 2, which is party info. Select Data Table from the drop-down menu. This shall be our master table. Now, select Column from Master Table. Display in Graphics will be data we want to see in Graphics, and Display in Table will show data in UDT. For example, we want full country name in the table to make easy for the data entry operator, but we want to show short name in the Graphics. As we have already selected party info table as a data source, it will show as a slave table. We will now take winning party as our data table to get the corresponding value of that row and other columns. Select party color, as display in graphics and table. As a result, when we will select the winner party, it will automatically fill its color and color column. Now, we save the changes made to the UDT. Go to Data Entry tab to see how it works. Enter the data. A notifying message will appear, as this column contains reference value for another column.
we notice here, that we have a drop-down menu for the winning party. Also notice, that as we select the winning party, corresponding color fills in. Let's go back to the Design tab. Go to Variable Sheet and select UDT Add-in. Then, browse the UDT and change Roper page to All. Next, select AI and go to Polydata in Parameters Pool. Select the UDT from the left side panel. We then drag result table onto the grid to wire it. Remove visibility wiring by selecting None, from the column drop down menu. Select the color column for color wiring. Finally, when we go to UDT and select the winner party for each state, the color will change accordingly on map.